Hello YouTube community, I hope everyone is doing okay, it has been a while since my last modeling update because today's build took me a little bit longer than I expected. Anyway, today's modeling adventure is Meng STKFZ 173 Yak Panther G1 in 135th scale in kit number TS039. According to Scalemates, this kit was released in 2018. Inside the box you will find 9 plastic sprues, 1 small clear plastic sprue, 2 photo edge spreads, 1 small sheet of water slide decals, and 2 pieces of cable which are meant to be used as tow cables. As tow cables. <coughs> In one side of the kit box it says that this plastic model kit has a total of 975 parts altogether. Now as for how does this kit go together I have to tell you that I was amazed by the way it was coming together. Every part goes together perfectly without leaving the slightest gap or creating any issue at all. All the parts are clean, crisp and very detailed. Photo etched parts are, are easily bended and strong enough to forgive a mistake. The water slide decals are grey, go down easily and they are as thin as they should be. This kit also provides you with many great options such as the suspension which can, build, which can be built movable if you, have, if you plan to stick it in a diorama. All the hatches are movable and have interior detail. Apart that the main gun has a pretty detailed bridge mechanism so if you decide to leave the hatches open you can see some small interior detail. Lastly, the kit provides you with the option to build four different variants of the Yak Panther, so make sure to decide which vari variant of this vehicle you want to build, because instructions vary and depend on your choice. I personally chose to build the tank number uh, 212 from Battle of the Road, March 1975. As far as to what kind of modelers I recommend this kit, or are the experienced and advanced ones because of the sheer amount of parts needed to build this and the photo edge parts that may, be, ma that may trouble the beginner. So in conclusion this kit is great, easy and fun to build with high potential for any project you may have in mind. As always fellow modelers, that was everything that I have to say about this kit. If you have found this video interesting or helpful at all, Please leave a like or a comment with your opinion about this build. You can even subscribe to my channel for more builds to come. In the video description below you will find a brief history for the vehicle and the catalogue of the paints that I have used for this build. Until the next modeling adventure, fellow modelers, keep painting and gluing your figures. See you next Steve Fox examines an overnight phenomenon, rapping to the beat.